oftentimes I found that like I placed this um, the standard upon myself of having to create the perfect PRD, just have the perfect documentation ready for my team before we meet so that I don't look like a fool, so that I don't look like, you know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. The last two points that I spoke about, I feel is very tied to imposter syndrome. It's better at a tech company to err on the side of like velocity and being wrong and being open to admitting when you're wrong, it doesn't count against you. I've actually found that like it, it shows vulnerability and um, it builds trust and confidence um, in your team. But I know that those things are hard um, because of the imposter syndrome that you often feel when you're a woman leading a team of often men. Okay, I don't know how to code. Are they gonna respect me? Are they gonna take me uh, seriously? The, the answer is no, you don't know how to code, but you know what, that's not what you're here for. You're here as the product manager. You are the heart of the team. You are the lead. You are the person telling people, why are we here? What are we working on? What are the problems we're trying to solve for? You're the user advocate. So lean into those strengths, I would say, and don't lose sight of that. It can be very demotivating some days, and sometimes it's really awkward leading a room full of engineers and QA, just all these other functions that you know, typically it's not going to be female. Um, you're not gonna have the same rapport that you might be used to having in other roles, but you just gotta, you know, fake it till you make it, honestly. <laughs> Just think to yourself, like, I'm the shit, I'm here for a reason, you guys hired me, let me tell you how we're gonna get the shit done. <laughs>